considering the incoming presidency in the US and how different US and European economies are in terms of dependence on banks, do you think these new proposals are going to allow European banks to be in a stronger position? And under what rule book? Uh, well, there are a number of international uh, agreements which are already uh, made in Basel Committee, in Financial uh, Stability Board. So what we are doing uh, so far, we are primarily implementing those agreements which had already been made internationally. And of course, we expect also other global players, including uh, US, to uh, follow through on those agreements and on the commitments they had also made uh, to introduce those requirements for uh, their banks. We know that those uh, negotiations as regards the completion of Basel III are uh, still uh, ongoing and we'll come back to this issue in uh, uh, January and the uh, uh, position uh, Europe is uh, taking that completion of Basel III should not lead to the overall substantial increases of the capital requirements. And this is something which has been agreed, uh, by the way, by the Basel uh, uh, Committee itself.